the fuselage is upside down here on the table and everything is drying. We can take step 16, which is to put the fastening for the nose gear onto the firewall. If you try to push the bolts in, these, if you try and push them through the holes, they uh, do fit, but uh, they just fit. I like to enlarge the holes from 3 millimeters to 3.2 or one eighth of an inch. The, what this does is it gives the bolts a little play. When the plate comes on in the back, we have a little play for the bolts uh, and so everything will fit. The bolts have uh, this washer on the, uh, where, the, um, where the firewall is, so it won't, they won't go too far into it. Now we just fit the bolts. The fastening is in two parts, a back plate and a front plate, and they fit together like this, and the uh, nose wheel leg fits exactly in there. Now I can just put this back plate on, like this. And because there's play in the holes, it's easy to do that. And then the front plate on. And it fits also because I've enlarged the holes a little bit. There are four nuts for this. Uh, it's difficult for men with big hands like me to do this, but. Um, I'm going to just fit the bolt, fit the nuts, because when when the motor is on and running, it will produce all kinds of vibrations. Sometimes it would be nice to have little hands, but well, this uh, these vibrations will make the nuts uh, go off. To prevent that, I have to glue it. And I use this lock tight nut or bolt glue, just a little drop on each. The nuts will then not go get off until I want them to. Then I screw the nuts in up to the fastener and then harden uh, tighten the tighten them on Now would be a good idea to check that the nose wheel gear itself fits in and it does just as it should do. So now we can tighten the nuts and bolts completely.
like this. Oh. The London gear still fits. Still looks still it. Can't so no. And they have no <coughs> now step number sixteen is no finished. Grade sixteen. Look it. 